Acts chapter 4, verses 29 through 31 say this. And now, O Lord, hear their threats and give us, your servants, great boldness in preaching your word. Stretch out your hand with healing power. May miraculous signs and wonders be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Acts 4, verse 31. After this prayer, the meeting place shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Then they preached the word of God with boldness. Here's what disturbed me about this portion of scripture. This is Acts chapter four. This is after Acts chapter two, obviously. But this event that occurred was after the day of Pentecost where the church had already received the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did not they already have boldness? Were not they already witnessing miracles? Hadn't they already received the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost? Yes, yes, and yes. In fact, Peter and John were among that group. In Acts 4, go up a few verses to verse 23, the Bible says, as soon as they were freed, Peter and John returned to the other believers and told them what the leading priests and elders had said. Now, wait a minute. Peter preached with boldness in Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost. Yet here in Acts 4, the scripture says that after the Holy Spirit comes upon them, Peter and John present in that room, that then they begin preaching with boldness. Then they began seeing miracles. Church, what this shows us is that the move of the Holy Spirit the baptism with the Holy Spirit isn't a one-time experience. It's a continual state of being. It's not like water in a cup. It's like wind in a sail that continually moves that ship forward. It wasn't that they received more from the Holy Spirit. It was that they surrendered more to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, hear me now. The Holy Spirit is all in. Are you? He's fully committed. He dwells inside of you. So you have the Holy Spirit, but it's in the surrendering to the Holy Spirit that what we have in us manifests around us. You already have your spiritual gift. You already have an anointing from on high. That's what 1 John 2, 27 says. You already have the ability to understand the word. You already have your preaching gift. You already have boldness for evangelism. You already know how to pray. But it's untapped power that rests within you. And the only way you tap into that power is by surrendering to the Holy Spirit in greater depths. For every level of surrender, there is a level of power that comes. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.